Today we are going to be reacting to and breaking down some of the best sports edits from the subscribers of this channel. What's going on? My name is Peter. I'm a videographer from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography and today we're going to be checking out a bunch of videos from the subscribers of this channel. This is a recurring series in the channel where you can submit your video to get reviewed and showcased to all the people who watch these videos by sending it to peterwatchmysportsvideo at gmail.com. So if you have a sports video edit that you wanna share, you can send it down there. All right, the first video we have is called Wild West Basketball Night from Max Rogers, who says, hey Peter, I'm a 16 year old photographer who wants to try doing video. This is my first edit of my school's Wild West Basketball Night. Let me know what you think, thanks. Instagram and TikTok is at Max S Shots underscore. Everyone's Instagram who submits a video today is going to be linked down in the description. So if you like what any of these people are sending, you want to show them some love, definitely go check out the profiles. And let's get into this first video from Max. <laughs> this is such a funny theme night. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I honestly love the school spirit. Everybody coming out to support their friends on the basketball team dressed up like Woody from Toy Story. It is just such like a top tier theme night for a high school. That looked like a ton of fun. I think you did a really good job, especially for someone who's a photographer and is just starting out and is just trying video. You did a really good job of capturing the essence of what this night is. The theme was pretty apparent right from the from the start. You gave me like three shots of fans just in their cowboy outfits, which is so funny to say. And yeah, then the run out shot of the girls team from the back angle with the lights flashing and the handshake was super cool for setting the scene. I don't really know what those other shots of those random guys were. Maybe that stuff could have got cut out to make this a little shorter, but like in general, Although the camera work was a little shaky at times, it was pretty good, like especially right there following that ball. And you did a really good job of not focusing too much on the action, honestly, because that's not really what this is about. You showed me uh, some action shots, but a lot of shots of the players getting hype, a lot of shots of the fans reacting to the action. And that is really what made this video fun for me. It didn't necessarily need to be overly cinematic or anything. It just conveyed a lot of emotion and fun and it reminded me of being in high school which makes me sound super old but i think for these types of videos that's what you want to do is just convey a lot of fun emotion and make people feel like they could have been there and get the same sentiment as someone in the crowd might have had and that's what i got so i think you did a really good job of capturing that the actual visual part of like how to frame shots in a more cinematic matter will just come with doing more videos like you said you're a high school photographer who's just wanting to try doing video and for someone who's just wanting to try doing video you're doing it really well so keep it up i think you have some room to grow but the fact that you're able to capture and convey emotion as you're just starting out is a really good sign all right next up we've got a hockey edit from brayden deterrent who says hey peter i'm currently a sophomore in college and shooting video for my school I saw this video at a local ahl team i would love if you could give it a watch and give me some critiques or things that i could work on Oh, that's so nice. I love that dark shot. Is this the Wolf of Wall Street thing? <laughs> no, this shots look really good though. I love that. Okay, this is fun. I love the inclusion of the crowd audio. This looks so good. Give me a goal. Nice. Oh, so satisfying. And the crossbar sound too. All the sound effects and stuff make this so good too. Even the sound of the guy hitting against the boards, oh, so nice. 
Honestly, I was hooked on this video, Brayden, right from the start when you had this one beam of light coming in and the skates on the ice, it was just so compelling. And then you give me this shot here, which shows a subject looking right at the camera of a shallow depth of field. Overall, your cinematography throughout this was just really good. And then you gave me a dip to black, build some anticipation and flashback into the action. And as the music was building, we got to a point where it looked like I should have been getting a goal. We had all the fans chanting and your sound design throughout this with fans chanting and hits on the boards and slap shots, sound effects was just perfect throughout. But right as the music is building right here, I get not only a goal, but a super satisfying sound of a goal going off the crossbar and the crossbar being hit as the beat dropped. It was just so good. And then from there, I was just hooked for the rest of this video. You really just made this so compelling. Like, I loved it. Through and through, I loved it. You captured the essence of the fans. You showed a ton of action. You made this team look super exciting. It makes me want to go watch some AHL hockey. Goal successfully achieved. And if you keep doing edits like this, I think you're gonna be filming NHL hockey pretty soon if it were up to me. So yeah, man, keep it up. You're doing fantastic. All right, next up, we have a football slash soccer behind the scenes video from Bernardo Santos, who says, hey, Peter, I'm a sports videographer currently working with Leinster Rugby in Ireland. But before that, I had a long way to go until I found a solid full-time job in the industry. And you played a big part in that. Oh, well, thank you. I'm really happy I was able to help and good for you for finding a full-time job in the industry. That's awesome. I absorbed a lot of your knowledge and that's the main reason why I wanted to check out your opinion. Thank you for everything you do for the community. Here's a link to the video. All the best, Bernardo. Awesome. Let's check it out. Four and a half minutes. All right, let's get it. Okay, so I think this is more of like a cinematic game recap style thing. And if you want to see a breakdown of some more cinematic recaps following this one, I've actually done a couple of cinematic game recaps for the Grey Cup, which is the CFL's championship game. You can check out my edit breakdown to that video up here if you want to see me break down a eight to nine minute long cinematic game recap that I did for my job somewhat recently. But for now, let's watch this cinematic recap from Bernardo. Good afternoon, everyone. What an occasion ahead of us here at the Aviva Stadium today. A cup final that has really seized the attention and it looks like we will have 48,000 in here today. A record attendance for a cup final. Magnificent. So these type of cinematic recaps, the commentator audio to set the scene with establishing shots is so important. And the color commentary is really what drives this type of video. Yeah, these gimbal shots are great to establish our characters. As corny as it sounds, shallow depth of field and camera movement is just like bread and butter for this type of stuff. It's not taken either club long to get back to this point, but the question is, will we have a similar or a different outcome today? The same pass, well, they've done it on the hard way. All games away from home, including knocking out the holders at the time. Jerry City on penalties. Mm -hmm. I like the flag shot and all the fan shots here. This is what I want to see more of and earlier in the video and often in the video. It's just like trophy fans. This stuff, like stadium absolutely full. This makes something look really big time when you see that type of stuff. Oh, this looks so cool. See, I would love some color commentary to go with those types of moments. I'm not sure if you had access to it or not, but like these fan shots, like here, this type of stuff. Yes, give us the color commentary. I want to hear calls for the penalty shots and the free kicks and every goal. Beautiful. And what a celebration shot here. Beautiful, man. I really wanted that color commentary for the penalty shot goal that was scored first and didn't get it, which was a little disappointing. Getting it for that second goal, though, was awesome. 
That too, that's beautiful. And I love how you've made a point of changing your location. So after you got the first goal from the left corner, you switched so that you could get the next goal from the right corner and make them look different. And that kept this looking a lot more engaging. Look at that. You can see all the players going nuts, the crowd going crazy in the background. Like this, the way you filmed this and how you have crowd filling every single shot makes this look like it's the biggest sporting event in the world. And that's the type of epic feeling you want to give to these types of videos. All the haze in the background is making this look even more sick. And obviously that's not on, that's not like your thing, but like the fact that that happened, like it looks so cool. Yeah, and you've done a good job of treating fan shots throughout this video like they're the priority and you haven't just taken fan shots as like a secondary piece. You've really got a really good fan shot throughout here and getting shots of the players with the fans going crazy with the trophy, like all those details that aren't just the game action, you've done an excellent job of capturing. And they're really the thing that are tying this video together for me right now. Like I'm all in on this. <laughs> That's so funny. The guy's sliding in and bumping the trophy and knocking over a bottle of beer. See, this, this type of stuff at the end of the video is great because you could have finished the video before this happened. But showing all that locker room stuff at the end is selling all of the player personality to like really hook people as fans of this team. I'm not gonna say too much more because I've kind of given all my thoughts throughout the course of the video. But the stuff in the locker room at the end there sells the player's personalities to you as a fan after you've already been invested in their story and when you feel like you can connect with a player on a more personal level like that seeing them do goofy things and having fun just being regular people really happy to have accomplished such a big goal it gives you a personal feeling like like almost like you know them type of thing and you like you want to root for them and that's really what makes you a fan so if you're a videographer like doing that type of stuff that shows player personality is what's gonna grow the fandom for your team Overall, I think that was just excellent. Like you you were so thoughtful in capturing every element of the game day and not overemphasizing the action, but rather focusing on all the other stuff. And then when you did capture action, it was really cinematic. So great job. Like this is just lovely, honestly. If you ever need someone to film with you in Ireland, let me know, cause that looked really fun. <laughs> no, I'm gonna link this video down in the description like with everyone's Instagram. So if you want to just watch this video without my commentary over it, you can. But yeah, thank you for submitting this. I'm really happy you did. And I'm really happy that I had the opportunity to watch it as well because it's it's just excellent, really. All right, here we go. This is called One Year of Sports Videography from Zachary Anderson. Hey, Peter, my name is Zachary. I'm a sports videographer from Illinois. I've been creating for about a year now. I use your videos to teach myself about filmmaking and editing sports content. Awesome, man. I attached a bunch of my recent work so you can choose one that sounds interesting to you. You can find me on Instagram at zandy.media. I'm just going to pick the first one and let's see how it goes. That was cool. That's a fun way to pull you into a video. Yeah, you know, I like the fast cut too with the, uh, with the sound design. Yeah, the first five, six seconds of the video really pulled me in. That's good. Nice. The sound design on the dunks and on the three pointers is so satisfying. Nice. I like the angle change, that's cool. Very cool, man. I like that a lot. You did a really good job of like hooking me off the bat. Like this shot right there 
just drew me right away. I didn't know what was happening, but it got me engaged. And the fast cuts with the logo are really cool for establishing the scene. You did a good job in general at the start, just giving me a lot of establishing shots of the crowd and the cheerleaders and like all that stuff that isn't the game. And then you threw me into the action and you had really creative, like not true to life, obviously, but engaging sound design throughout, which kind of kept me hooked. And then you did a good job of like filming from both baselines, but also getting up into the bleachers and the rafters and giving me a whole bunch of different looks at the action, which was super cool. Obviously you added some camera shakes and zooms and things to keep things compelling throughout. And then at the end, you gave me a couple more establishing shots. You gave me a selly shot and the video ended. Overall, I'd say that's like pretty much your like rinse and repeat recipe for a good Instagram sports edit. So not too much to complain about. The only thing I would really like to change here is maybe cut out a couple of the action shots in the middle and give me a couple more of those like game day atmosphere scenic shots in the middle here. So like you gave me a few shots at the start as establishing shots and then you gave me some establishing shots at the end. But I would have loved to see some crowd reaction shots to the action that you were showing me in the middle to kind of keep that consistency of establishing shots and reaction shots versus game rather than feeling like I was working with kind of a sandwich template where it was like establishing shots, action in the middle, establishing shots at the end. So you can make one of these for every single game and populate your college basketball team's Instagram with this type of video. If you keep on making videos like this, like you've only been doing it for one year, you're gonna find that you get really, really good really quickly. So just keep making more videos like that. Cover everything you can really. Big thank you to everybody who submitted their videos today. If you wanna get your video edit featured on the channel, please send it to peterwatchmysportsvideo at gmail.com. Everyone who submitted the videos today, Instagram is going to be linked down in the description. Go show them all some love. They all did such good work and it's really hard to just put yourself out there for the public eye like that. So go check them all out. If you have any questions about anything we talked about here today, or you just wanna like show people love in the comments, definitely go do that. And until next time, peace.